Hello and welcome to listening to the radio. Today, the interesting story of Arthur Liu, from pop music in Taiwan to a Chinese radio empire in America. Arthur Liu, a pioneer of Western pop music on Taiwanese radio during the 1960s, built a media empire in the United States by acquiring 30 radio stations in the 1990s. Here is his fascinating story. In the 1960s, Arthur Lee was a well-known name among young music fans in Taiwan. For eight years, he hosted Western pop music programs on stations like Youth Radio, the Police Radio Network, and the Broadcasting Corporation of China. His show became extremely popular, to the point where he received two carloads of fan letters on one anniversary of the station. At the age of 30, Liu decided to move to the United States to study media. He earned a master's degree in communications from Syracuse University and worked at a BC, one of the major television and radio networks in the US. Although he earned only $400 a month, he was determined to learn and succeed in the competitive American broadcasting industry. In 1972, Liu founded Sino TV Incorporated in New York, and four years later, Sino Radio Broadcast Corporation. He began producing original Chinese language programming and launched the Sino Daily Express newspaper. This allowed him to establish extensive contacts in the American media world. In 1982, Liu applied to purchase a suspended radio station license, 105.9 FM in New York. The competition was fierce, with 29 other companies in the race, but after a 10-year process, Liu successfully acquired the license in 1992 thanks to a new FCC law that eliminated frivolous bids. Between 1,993 and 1,995, Liu acquired his second New York station and 3M stations in Los Angeles, CASM 1,300, KMRB 1,430, and KMNY 1,600. His focus was on serving minority communities, renting airtime to groups speaking Vietnamese, Korean, Russian, Spanish, and other languages. In 1998, an FCC rule change allowed Liu to sell his New York station for over $100 million to a nationwide Spanish language network seeking to expand in the New York market. With this windfall, Liu purchased 15 radio stations on the West Coast. Liu continued expanding his media empire, acquiring 13 additional stations and establishing a national network of radio stations broadcasting in multiple languages. He also owned three Chinese language TV stations in New York and strategically bought and sold radio stations. At 65, Liu remains passionate about broadcasting, he plans to create a national Chinese language program, and has invested in a radio station on Long Island to train future media professionals. Arthur Liu is an example of how determination, entrepreneurial spirit, and a bit of luck, can transform a foreign student into a media mogul in one of the world's most competitive markets. Thanks to Dolly Wong, Taiwan Panorama, Good DX, and 73.